In a blackjack game, the basic strategy is the set of actions that give you the best possible return based on your total and the dealer's visible up card. For a given set of playing rules, there's only one best action for each possible situation. Fortunately, you can simplify the basic strategy, that, that is, make a simple, simpler basic strategy chart that's easier to memorize and use and still have a, get good results. Today I'm going to talk about what I call the super easy casual basic strategy. It has a house edge. When you play with this strategy, the house edge is about 1% or so if you're playing 100 hands per hour, you lose on the average of uh, on the average about one hand per hour, which is pretty good, much better than most other casino games. Um, so let's get right down to it and look at what the char chart strategy looks like. This is the strategy chart. Super easy, casual, simplified blackjack basic strategy. Um, the left side shows you the strategy in words, and the right side shows you the strategy in graphically, so use whichever side you're more comfortable with. The left side and right side show the same information. Um, the chart is organized from top to bottom in the order that you make decisions. First, when the hand is dealt, you see if you have a pair and decide whether to split it. Then you look and see whether uh, you have a hand that you want to double down on. Then you see whether you have a, a soft total, that is a a hand where the ace counts as 11 and then you if none of those apply you just hit or stand depending on what you have and what the dealer has um, so I've organized this these charts in the order that you make the decisions but the order of learning them is from bottom to top because the bottom decisions happen much more often uh, than the ones at the top so if you learn nothing else uh, learn this bottom part of the chart. Okay, so how does this chart work? Um, this heading, header row across here tells you uh, is the dealer's up card. And this column here shows your current total. So um, if you have 17 or more, uh, you should always stand. That's what the red region means. And uh, not shown on the chart is if you have something that can't bust, for example, anything 11 or less, uh, obviously you hit um, if you don't double. So the only time you really need to make a decision is when you have a 12 through 16. This is what's called a stiff. It's called stiff because if you hit it, you might bust. Um, so the chart says if the dealer has a low card, 2 through 6, you stand always. So even if you have a lowly 12, if the dealer has and the dealer has a 6, you would stand on that. You would rather wait. There's a good chance the dealer will bust when, when the dealer has one of these cards. Whereas with these cards, 7, 8, 9, 10, and Ace, you should always hit a stiff, even if you have a 16 and the dealer has a 7, it's much better to hit than to stand. You'll probably lose either way. If you stand or hit, you'll probably lose. But you lose less often if you follow this chart. Okay, here's the same information verbally. If the dealer has a low card showing, a low card is 2 through 6, never bust. You stand on 12 or more. If the dealer has a high card showing, 7 through ace, you mimic the dealer, that is, you hit until you get 17 or more. Okay, so what about soft totals? That is, a total where the ace card is um, counts as 11. Um, if you have soft 17 or less, you should always hit. If you have soft 18 or more, you should always stand. You don't even have to look at what the dealer has. 
um, note that the dividing line here is different. It's between soft 17 and soft 18. Compared to this one, this is between 16 and 17. Um, so if you think of it, seven, soft 17 is an ace and a 6, and you think of 16 as an 10 and a 6, you see that in that sense the dividing line is the same. When you have a, uh, an ace and a 6 or less, you hit just uh, as they have a 10 and a 6 or less, and the dealer has a high card showing, uh, you should hit. Otherwise, you have something more than that, soft 18, which is an ace and a 7, uh, you stand. Just like a 10 and a 7, you always stand. Okay, what about doubling down? Um, if you have two card total of 11, like a 5 and a 6, always double down no matter what. Uh, if you have a two card total of 10 or 9, double if the dealer has a low card. Once again, a low card is 2 through 6. And don't double if you have, if the dealer has a 7 or higher showing. Okay, now let's look at sp uh, pair splitting. Uh, this is pretty simple. It doesn't matter what the dealer has. You look at what's your, your pair. If you have a pair of eights or a pair of aces, split them. Otherwise, don't split your pairs. Uh, the, the mnemonic device for this is these, these um, cards begin with a phonetic A sound. Ace and eight. And A is the best grade you can get in, in, in a class. So those are the ones you want to split. Okay, so we've got the whole, now that's the whole strategy. Split aces and eights, double on 11 always, double on 10 or 9, if the dealer has a low card showing, always hit seven, soft 17 or less, always stand a soft 18 or more. Uh, if you have a hard total, a stiff, uh, look at what the dealer has. If the dealer has a low card showing, don't hit any hand that might bust. If the dealer has a high card showing, uh, do what the dealer does and hit until you get 17 or more. That's the complete strategy. You can go to blackjackcalculation.com and uh, to learn more about strategy, um, you can click on the links to uh, generate a PDF file, to print out a PDF file. Um, click the link on the right and you can print this out and take it with you to the, to the casino. Um, they don't mind you having a chart in front of you, but don't slow the game down. Um, make your decision promptly and most casinos don't care if you have, have a strategy in front of you. Once again, this is the um, super easy casual blackjack basic strategy from blackjackcalculation.com. Good luck.